two Jersey starters, Devin Jensen from Brielle, New Jersey, on the backdoor cut. He's from the shore, Manasquan High School, and he starts the scoring. Rutgers right now struggling in these opening couple of minutes. Merrimack's only got two points, but at least Merrimack has had, you feel, a little bit better time trying to execute on offense. Just like that, backdoor cut, Devin Jensen. For Rutgers, here's Moat Mag for the first time, as well as Andre Hyatt, number five, LSU transfer. This is Ron Harper getting the scoring started for RU. This is Malik Edmead, Long Island product. He's the sixth man for Merrimack. Watkins will skip it. And then the three put up Jordan McCoy, a Jersey kid from Westwood. Look to swing it to Harper. Active hands from Merrimack. Baker. Backdoor look, Harper knifes his way through. Sixth-year coach Joe Gallo will introduce him in a moment, but he is a Jersey guy from Middlesex County. Calls this a different 2-3. There's the lob on the backside, Amorie from Mag. Watkins, righty scoop layup. Calls the rack a special place. It's a great moment for him to be able to coach and bring the Warriors here. Another backdoor look as Jensen could not finish the layup. Good pass from Jordan Miner. And the other way, getting the roll. Miner. And, and he got McConnell on his hip in the denial. Gonzalez AG coming over. A little mess up underneath the basket that time. Miner attacking Gonzalez AG. Nice move at 6'8, 240. Shot clock to six. Caleb McConnell. Mulcahy, Harper in rhythm. Gonzalez AG on the glass. Watkins able to cross half court. Ziggy Reed, path to the basket. Took it in, and he's denied by Omorie. Went with the right hand jump hook over Miner. Watkins pushing. Miner, path to the basket, will throw it down. Timeout, Rutgers and Steve Peichel. Merrimack has made a statement. Baker continues the penetration, off to Harper, and that ends an 0 for 9. And it starts with getting that ball in the paint. Watkins stepping back into a three, a step back. Morier with the shot clock winding down had no choice but to shoot that at an awkward angle. Jordan Miner turns and able to score on a Morier. Nice move from Jordan Miner. Third team all NEC noted for his high motor. Harper missed the floater and Harper ripping it away and will prevent the tie up. Out to Baker for three. You said to try to work that ball around, find somebody, get that ball in the post area. Harper feed set. Consecutive threes for the Scarlet Knights. Merrimack secured after announcing they would be going Division I. Baker lobs it up for Amorye. And Jersey Mike's Arena comes alive. Watkins' path to the basket silences them. And Jordan Miner only has one foul at this juncture as we get closer to the finish line. Miner attacking Rebirth, the denial inside the swat from Mawat Mag. Baker swinging, Hyatt a contested three, that goes! And a wise decision that time by Harper to pull back, they didn't have the numbers. Jones attacking the baseline. Watkins with a shot clock at six. Watkins floater, finally for Merrimack. Not been able to get to the line hardly at all here in this second half. Hyatt, shot clock to three, leaves it for Jones at the buzzer. His career up beautifully. Nine points, a career high for Jones. They've all been significant, and now the steal. Hyatt. Watkins. Blocked by Harper. Baker the lob. Oh, Amorie with his back to the rim. 
They climb out of a seven-point halftime hole, scoring just 16 points and five field goals in the opening 20.